So graph in cybersecurity. There are so many regions in cybersecurity that you can use graph, but one of the main uh, important one is intelligent connection. Basically, there are in a bigger organization, there usually are a group called threat intelligence team that uh, analyze the threats and decides if where these threats come from and if there are two people, uh, if two attackers or two group of attackers are connected to each other or not. One of the easiest, one of the fastest way to do that is through um, if using graph. So for example, um, in this slide, you can see attacker one and attacker, attacker two. They use two different uh, techniques to attack. So one of them use web pages, the other one use emails to attack organization. But if you go through the different, uh, if you look at their model, their code, their IP, and uh, decode all those information, you would eventually lead to the same organization. So say organization crime, and then you can consider or maybe maybe probably these two attackers are from the same group you just like have different uh, <clears throat> signatures and technique um, another uh, place that graph is used in cyber security is attack mapping so if you map of your network computer network in the companies that has like hundred thousands of computers uh, for people who join to the network, um, it's very, very hard to find the attackers. And using graph make it it's a little bit easier to find if someone uh, have, get access to area they shouldn't, or if someone enter to the community that they, they, weren't, they didn't belong to, or look for, um, you can look at for community that overlap and actually they shouldn't overlap. So it's another area to use that. Another famous area is fraud detection. Uh, remember fraud can be in any shape and any place, like fraud can be fraudulent investment, fraudulent fraud, uh, sorry, in insurance fraud, a fraudulent phone call, uh, fraudulent bank account, etc. The challenge on detecting fraud is uh, fraud is rare. It's very imbalanced information. Uh, it's practically finding needle that has a beige color in a haystack. So graph, uh, using graph analysis, given the capability of graph that shows the complex relationship between uh, data will help uh, fraud detection a bit easier. Another area is spam detection. Spam pages, um, I'm sure everyone encounter those websites that say, hey, congratulations, you won that, if you won lots of money or like click on here and you get lots of money, you become rich forever. So this, these pages usually called spam. Spam pages designed to trick you or your search engine to direct traffic to their websites. Uh, it's uh, really hard to find them because pages are usually the spam pages are usually not independent, and uh, you don't just, you don't easily find a dependency between the spam pages. Uh, it's really you don't know what features are relevant to finding your spam pages. Uh, there's very training a small training set for spam pages, especially because. Uh, they change a lot. Like they change their websites, their IPs, their everything every few hours. If yeah, like every few days, like I would say two days at max, but like usually it's every few hours. So your labels, your previous detection are not usually very good. And that's why it's spam detection is really hard. And uh, uh, graph analysis can help a lot to make it easier to uh, find spam pages. Another uh, example of uh, graph analysis uh, is in money, anti-money laundry. It's one of the areas that graphs helps a lot. 
and has a very good proven record of detecting uh, money laundry teams. Uh, so if you look at, for example, this graph, you would see person A sends money to person B, C, D. It could be in through different time as well. And then person B sends money to person F, J, G, and person C sends money to H, person D sends money to I. Person H sends to G, G through two transactions sends money to F, and then F returns the money to A. And then uh, the same for person J sends it to I, and then I returns the money to A. So practically, all the money that person A sent in a time, in a specific time in the let's say in two weeks comes back to themselves, but this time the money is clean, like because like the source of money is kind of like you know, like you would say, like I got it from friend. Um, any other data sources like um, relational database or any other database, if you use this method, it would be horrific to find uh, this relation. With graph, is really easy. Like you just draw, like you just draw them. You define a time window. You want to see the money transaction in different uh, in a specific time window, and almost anything that loops back to the person or loops back to the friends of friends of that person, um, it's 90% of the time sign of money laundry.